On 11th of October, I published this video uh, about Nikkei 2 to 5 breaking new high, but that video surprisingly didn't garner a lot of views. I really wonder why, because I think that the pattern that I shared there is very powerful, and the level that I talk about it, that's 30,500 for Nikkei 2 to 5s, once price touched there, it went up like 8%, exploded upwards. Mm, so in this video, I want to emphasize the pattern again. I think that whenever you see this pattern, you need to really stare at it, remember it, and and then uh, you know explore how you're gonna use that. Let's get ready. I really, really must let you know about this pattern. This video is proudly sponsored by Macquarie. This is a pair of swap stake, and we know that it's easy to break one. But what if you have two? Do you think it's easier to break than versus one? And what if you have 27 chopstick? Do you think it's easy to break this 27 chopstick? And this is exactly the pattern which I want to share with you. For Nikkei 225, if you take a look at the chart, it broke this 27 month of a consolidation. And it's tough to break it because 27 months means that you're essentially talking about two and three months of a consolidation. That means two years and three months or essentially 27 months priced has been like in the range consolidated means that it doesn't really move anywhere. It goes from a low to the high and it goes from the high to the low. It doesn't move out of this range here. But one fine day, Nikkei 225 was able to break out. Break out means that it's able to shoot through the high and it broke out of this 27 months of consolidation. And do you think that this is a strong move on Nikkei 225? What if price is to test back this level again, that means the level that it broke out, then do you think that this is a very strong pattern to trade? That means that when there is a breakout of a huge base, that means a lengthy consolidation, it is a pattern that is worth looking. Because it's easy to break, let's say for example, a month or two months, but it's definitely not easy and potentially there's a lot of driving forces, fundamental forces, right, that caused a move up above this consolidation. And this was essentially the reason why I talk about Nikkei 225. And I mentioned this special level, which is 30,500. Why is it 30,500? Because that was the highest price that price had seen in this 27 months of consolidation. All right. And if price is to retest to this particular price level, then it would be a very strong resistance that turned into to a support level. And this is the reason why in that video, I emphasize on the short term trading for Nikkei 225 at 30,500. And from there, price moves up by 8%. And if investors had used instruments like warrants, then the leverage gain would be more than 8%. So let's take a look at the key level right now for Nikkei 225. Of course, we know that the support is now very strongly at 30,500 level. So this is a key support. Let's do a review on the low hanging fruit pattern, right? We saw that Nikkei 225 had a breakout of this 27 months of a consolidation pattern. And then what happened is that it ran back to that level that means the level that you broke out so this was the key level the highest level during that consolidation in order to ascertain that price had a breakout price will need to test back to that level again and this was the test and this becomes our opportunity and in fact that this wasn't the first time that we saw a consolidation in Nikkei 225 for example during the period of 2018 to 2021 we saw that there was a 34 months of a consolidation and price had a breakout and what happened it really tested at this low bar back to the highest price that we saw and that becomes a very very nice buying opportunity then remember this to me is a low hanging fruits and if you see lengthy consolidation and if price had a breakout then we really need to open our eyes and stare at that pattern and usually if price is to test back that means retest back to the highest level that it broke this becomes a very strong support level for us to take note again this is the day chart of 27 months of the consolidation pattern. Uh, the reason why I like this was because price retested very nicely into this 30,500 level. And then I did the video when it was somewhere around here. And when it came down to that 30,500 level, price immediately rebounded to move up about 8%. If investors had used, for example, warrants to trade this Nikkei 225 move, for example, based on the warrants I talked about in previous video, investors entered, say, about 30,700 on 30th of October, then 
today, which is 13th of November, then price would potentially gain 65% on this particular warrants while the underlying move up about 5.8% and it takes about 14 days. Of course, trading warrants is highly leveraged. So investors should understand the risk of trading the warrants as much as you might be able to make money on this move, you can also lose money as well. I think you might have one last question to ask me is that how long do I consider a low hanging fruit lengthy consolidation pattern? I brought up for Nikkei 225 a 27 months of consolidation but i think that any consolidation that's about a year that's 12 months and more would be ideal already so do go through your charts whether it is a stock charts or index charts on patterns that lasted for about 12 months or more and if there's a breakout pay extra attention i also want to recommend a video that i did uh, this video is about why traders uh, tend to miss out huge moves and i think that this is also a very important video that you should watch and i hope that you like whatever that I'm sharing. Uh, just one last thing, remember to click the subscribe button and press a like for this video so that more people get to know about this low hanging fruits. Or, or should we share it with more people?